Yo, this is a Shot the Fuck Out Television production. What's purping in your hood? You love your family? How far are you willing to go to protect your family? Sometimes we can forget what's important to us, feeling what the shit life throws at us. Here's my story. Shit happens. One night, I just got tired of the nonsense. So one Thursday night, 2009, I left my apartment and hit the fucking streets on a late night. I planned for myself an epic home invasion slash murder. So I was in this particular associate's neighborhood looking for that closure. That Thursday night, when I left my apartment, I was strictly about business. But as fate would have it, I ran into these two women. Now, there was things that I needed to do in these Philly streets. But I thought to myself, a little bit of pussy was better than a little bit of killing. But I was skeptical at first, cause I didn't know what I was getting into when I met these women. But I said, fuck that, I'ma go see if I can bust Shorty's ass. So I went over there and started laying down that mat. But I got Shorty peep game, cause she cut my pimp shit short. So I settled with chilling with the ladies. Now. The reason I was in these women neighborhood was really getting fucked up. And I was gonna have to be real careful if I get one of these women knocked up. But niggas here in Philly is stupid, and they'll do shit that had a gun to bust. And just the thing, I was trying to stay away from the shit that was gonna get me locked up. I don't wanna spend the rest of my life in prison. I eventually wanna have children. That's how I'm living. How will I handle those two minute contractions? I start having that sex. I'm probably gon' get a bitch pregnant. I start having that sex. I'm probably gon' get a bitch pregnant. Although I wanted to kill these niggas, I still make time for the women. And by no means that I wanna jeopardize anybody's family, my feelings. You see, I'm just tryna live my life and get that cash flow. But niggas here had me do some shit to run up in their fucking home. And I'm a type of yo, yo, what's good, pop star? Get shot the fuck out television. And perform a walk or drive by shooting, but I'm trying to run a legitimate business. But that Thursday night, when I left my apartment, I was strictly out for vengeance. I was engaging in what the police was calling this city that vigilante justice. Because I thought to myself, if the police ain't gonna kill these people, they really could help me with my situation. I had a job to do and a spot to clean before it was investigated by the CSI investigators. But here's where these women come into play. It was a late night, I'm out here doing the damn thing. Once I got the intel, I'm headed back to where I was living. Man, these motherfuckers ain't gonna know what hit them. Halfway home, I hear yo sexy. I turned around who's saying this, and it was these two women. I met some nice women in situations like this. Even though it wasn't good terms, I thought I could make something of it. You see, with these women, I don't go into detail while I'm in the area. All they know is I'm a nice guy living in the city of Philadelphia. It was perfect in your hood. I start having that sex. I'm probably going to get a bitch pregnant. Yo, I start having that sex. I'm probably gon' get a bitch pregnant. I thought, forget a drive by shooting. I'ma run up in these motherfuckers' house clean. I wanted a cold case for the police with no good leads. You see, these people wasn't gonna set me up, and I get booked because I slipped up. I don't play these type of games on the streets. When I'm outside, I'm this serious and definitely about my money. Around the time I would chase these niggas in the city looking to catch a body, I missed the run and got a girl pregnant. But I wasn't thinking properly. A lot of things were going on in our life at the time, and I couldn't quite focus on the both of our lives. And actions like that are seriously jeopardized a child chance to grow. And when the shit went down, there was virtually no exchange of words. I might have slipped in a word or two about a pregnancy in conversation, but I ain't make no big scene. This is a bit we both laid in. From that point on, our relationship started crumbling. She finally hammered the last nail in the coffin. She stopped answering my calls. And to me, that's a sign she didn't want me anymore. So, I moved on. I'm just waiting for the next girl. Man, fuck 
these niggas. I don't got time for the nonsense. I'm just trying to get this money, man. It was perfect in your hood. This has been brought to you by Shot the Fuck Out Television. Oh, six to clip. I go by the name of Cash Code Damn It, man. Shit happens.